carefully section and mount the test specimen in a suitable medium to allow for ease of handling and polishing. A mounted and polished specimen is shown here. Care should be taken so that the true area fraction of the porosity is revealed throughout the entire cross section. Support the surface of the specimen so that it is normal to the axis of the indenter. Locate a suitable and desired location for testing by moving the specimen laterally under the microscope objective. Space the indentations so that the distance between them, or a free surface, is at least twice the extent of any stress deformations that appear in the surface or twice the shorter diagonal, whichever is larger. Select a suitable load and magnification for the test. A 100 gram force load is recommended. Rotate the indenter into the position of the objective and apply a test load. Examine the indentation for possible defects. The two sections of each diagonal should agree within 20% of each other. Discard any distorted indentations. Rotate the microscope objective into the position of the indenter. Measure the length of indentation diagonal with the Phylar eyepiece taking care to avoid backlash by moving only in one direction. Determine the micro-hardness value, either Knoop or Vickers, by using the formula to calculate this number or refer to a conversion chart that relates diagonal length to hardness value.